Hello, hello, welcome to another Kickstarter uh, stress test, I guess. Stress test, I guess. I just recovered from a 24-hour virus, which completely knocked me out. I literally, like, a few hours ago, just took a shower, like, ate something, finally back on my feet, and I guess this would be a great time to just do another stress test. I wish I had time to do more. I should make up time to do more due to these on more regular basis. Uh, but, you know, one step at a time. So, Millennium Blades, again! I wanted to review this because this campaign is just wonderful. Okay, uh, it's by level 99, and, and just I gotta say as a caveat, uh, I've worked with level 99. We did together the Guilty Gear uh, Strive uh, campaign, which was very successful and very crazy and very over the top and big. And with this, they did not work with us. They did something different, which I think was absolutely fantastic. And I think there's a lot to learn. Because I, I would have, I actually recommended they go this direction. Okay, I, I saw what they did and I loved it and, and I thought it was, it was just fantastic for this product. So let's have a look at this one and, and see what we can learn from, you know, doubling down into what makes your game special. So suppose we don't know anything about this. We're going to go to this like, like now. Okay, Millennium Blades again. Okay, this is something... I should know about. A CCG simulator is back. CCG simulator. I'm now very intrigued to know what that means. I might love CG CCGs, but there's just so many. I don't have time to play them. I don't, you know, I'm a little disillusioned by them maybe because I'm, as usual, I'm pretending to be the super fan for this game, the potential super fan. Grab Life by the Blade, TM. Okay, that's a trademark with four expansions. Okay, so this is the, you know, get everything uh, um, a reprint type of uh, campaign, which is a great opportunity if I've never played this game before and it seems to be appealing to me. This is my opportunity to get everything at once. And I see here one to six players, very versatile, 120 minutes and heavy. I need to know that I'm getting into something that is a heavy, heavy experience. So I'm excited. Let's watch the video. Hello there, old sport. I'm Brad Talton, the founder of Level 99 Games and the creator of Millennium Blades, the CCG simulator card game. They said it couldn't be done. But eight years ago, we embarked on a monumental gaming journey to create Millennium Blades, a board game about a group of friends playing a collectible card game, which is also called Millennium Blades. Fantastic. 33 seconds in. First of all, we have a very surprising opening. We're like, what are we even looking at? And then we have this just delightful, uh, uh, you know, presentation all these cards, all this stuff in front of my face. And he starts right away with, they said it couldn't be done. Eight years ago, we've cr we set out to create and so on. This is a great framing device, okay? Putting this into a story, essentially, and giving a story with history and already putting stakes. You know, this game as we'll see, is a little bit of an impossibility, the fact that it actually exists, which is crazy. And immediately, like, throwing in that tension, this game is so unique. You know, they said it couldn't be done. A CCG within a board game that you're actually playing as a person collecting CCGs all within one game. You start out on pre-release night with your starter deck in hand and a dream in your heart. And then buy, sell, trade, and do your way to become world champion. All in one box and all in one game session. So why are we here? Fantastic. That's it. That's all I need to know about the product. Everything else is just going to be about the Kickstarter itself. Who is it for? What happens if you're completely new? What happens if you are uh, um, already own like a lot of the stuff? What are you here for? What are the exclusives? So we're not going to well, really dive in into recent all years, that. It's become basically impossible for new fans to get a hold of everything. 
okay, it's been basically impossible to get hold of everything. So we're getting into all these reasons why I, I'm trying to think, wh why is this for me? What is this for? Okay, why should I back this now? And he's answering, he's like raising all these objections and answering them as he's going. So this year, we're going to reissue Millennium Blades in a more manageable size. The original base game, and one, two, three medium-sized expansions. If you're already a veteran bladester, this is an opportunity to scoop up everything you might have missed, plus some new cards. Plus some new cards, okay? Giving that extra incentive. Okay, I'm not going to go through all this because I really want to give time for the rest of the page, but... What he does after this, he says, Millennium Blades. But you don't have to take my word for it. Personally, I love this game. I love And then he just, you know, they goes to this crazy montage of uh, reviewers saying amazing things about the game. Really, really amazing things. And this is a great strategy. Okay, this is a great strategy to do if you have, if this is a reprint product, if, if you've had uh, great like reviews uh, uh, from your content creators, definitely this is something that should be, it should be done. I just recently did that for um, uh, the Robot Quest Arena video where we had all the reviewers like coming in and I did something very, very similar. Um, and, you know, we're all about, you know, trying to serve a super fan regardless of where he comes from okay so not knowing anything playing only the base game playing a little bit want to collect it we're basically overcoming all the objections we're showing that extra incentive to back now and the insane amount of value that will come out of it and to trust that this will be a quality product and then i want to just the design of this page is amazing first of all we get this sort of magazine cover uh, celebrating eight years of card flopping, Millennium Blades, reprints, repackage, brand new expansion. And the art style of this game is absolutely phenomenal because it feels like it's an IP that actually exists. I just never heard about it before. And then wake up, sleepyheads, you missed the millennium, the millennium. But don't worry, the blades are back in time. Okay, just honing in all these uh, selling points. And notice that He's going to repeat a lot of these objections which we had in the video. This is exactly what happens if you're worried that people are not going to watch the video. So it's exactly what happens to someone that skips the video and just goes straight, straight to the page. They will get the same experience. Okay, so that's how we're catering to the people that do watch the video and also to the people that watch the video later, not at all. The award-winning CCG simulator returns and look at that you know, word art, classic uh, Microsoft Word uh, uh, title. This reprinted extras couldn't wait till the 10th anniversary. Humor is great. It helps us get engaged. It makes us smile. It makes us buy in. Imagine this. You begin in pre-release night with your starting deck in hand and a dream in your heart. So you see, it's a repeat of the video. And it doesn't matter if we see it on repeat. We need information to be repeated for it to sort of sink in because most people are going through this really, really quickly. Mmm, you can smell the booster packs from here. So here you're getting to some of the selling points, okay? This game gives you the feeling of opening a booster pack every single game because it's such a rare thing. You know, what am I going to get? It's going to be rare. Is it going to be, it's going to be just a waste of my money. Well, here you don't need to waste more money by opening booster packs because that's within the game itself. Uh, then we get some info and then we get this great image, grab life by the blades. And then we get these amazing gifts, how to play, you know, and this is how I think gifts should be done. I don't think gifts should be like very elaborate gameplay gifts. This is the best way to show how to play simple easy to understand uh graphics because here i can see buy sell trade i can see this immediately i don't need it to loop i see okay you're buying stuff from the real marketplace selling you know sell for uh uh four dollars buy for seven dollars collect a set of cards to begin uh, uh to gain prestige right so there's a set collection aspect to it and it'll help friends find the cards there are uh, they need to build friendships. So trading is actually a part of this game. You want to trade with players just like you do in real life. Create a tournament deck and sweep events and then you actually... But I think it's missing one. 
I think he needed to add the fact that you actually play the game within the game. Okay? Here it looks like you're just skipping it and you sort of, you know, seeing the, the, the outcome of the tournament. Well, number uh, four should be play in the actual tournaments and then, you know, sweep the events or, or you know, grow your name. Uh, then we have a breakdown of the cards. Uh, reading just got cool. Throw away your homework and start learning the rules, okay, for the world's greatest only collectible game card simulator. And this is the rule book. And we have this amazing 90s gif of a jig. Like, uh, I love this. This is so gay. This brings back so many memories. Uh, game so showcase. <laughs> what tier should I do I back? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that is a pain. Uh, let our Kickstarter expert decides for you. I am just, I can't stop smiling going down this. You'll be a super backer in no time. Yep, super backer. Ah, uh, downloading recommended pledge tiers. You see, this is turning the page into an experience. This is one of the strengths of Kickstarters in general. The fact that not only it's, uh, uh um, it's a financial, uh, uh, smart financial decision being paid for the product before we actually deliver the product, uh, print the product, and a marketing tool, okay, getting the word out on this platform, which has great exposure, and building a community, you have comments and things like that. It's a way to let them experience the feeling of the game before buying into it. They're going through this, they're getting excited, they're getting involved, they're getting invested. Uh, uh, so the, the wait, okay, is worth it because it's part of this experience. When you buy something just off the shelf at a store, you don't get any of that. You just see a beautiful cover, you, you imagine a future scenario of you playing that game or owning that game on your shelf, but not anything beyond that. With a Kickstarter campaign, you essentially build this sort of relationship with your backers through this experience of backing the campaign, through the experience of, of seeing the updates and commenting, and, and especially for your super fans, and especially for this type of game, which is so, you know, community oriented. Um, and then we here, we get into the actual uh, tiers, and then we, <laughs> I love this gifts. Uh, what's in the box? Uh, wow. You, can ha you can't have a game without gamers. So these are the playable characters. Well, you can actually play a robot power creep. Um, player boards. Uh, look at this insane amount of values. Look how many cards you get in this. And there's all the expansions. This is just like... I feel like this game can can cross some borders, especially with this campaign, because this is a heavy, heavy game. This is a, a, a quite of an investment because you're going through the whole CCG experience within one game night, and you need to learn like the meta game of of trading and and buying and selling, and you need to learn the game itself. But this is not too far from other. CCGs, which you need to learn the meta, the, 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 the keywords, you know, how to build a deck and, and, and diving into to optimizing it. So, you know, the super fan isn't alienated from this type of thing. Oh, and it has a soundtrack, which absolutely slaps. Um, okay, so I can continue going down, but I feel like I said what, <laughs> what I wanted to say. I'm just having fun. I mean, look what they did to the uh, uh, Dice Tower logo, and, you know, Tom Vassell really liked it. Oh, man, so much goodness in here. And here you can see the full videos. Basically, you know, take a listen from the Level 99 book and, and look into how you craft your campaign page into actual experiences. Um, yeah, and, I mean... Keep your keep your super fans smiling as they go along. Don't don't make and you see it doesn't even go on for that long. I don't feel like even with all these gifts and and like sort of clicky clickbaity like titles, it doesn't feel like a slog to go through. And if we go into the pledge tiers, then we see. Okay, just the new stuff. This is great. So they're not locking the new exclusive stuff behind a play wall. 
uh, you can just get just this stuff. And this is good because it shows that, you know, Brad is catering for the fans that stuck with it for so long. And then we have the new gamer that doesn't want to go too much into it. So they get the base game and the two new expansions. And then you get just the new expansions and all the expansions and everything. Okay. And then we have, what is this? For the truly attainable card games are not enough. In this tier, you get everything Millennium Blades that we're producing in this project. Sleeved by you. Fantastic. And then... I've got Blades for a Millennia. For the truly attainable card games are not enough. In this tier, you get everything Millennium Blades, sleeved and limited availability tier. Can only ship and destination in North America. Okay, so which one is the highest tier? Let's see if we can figure that out. So, it, okay, so far it's really like the hardcore audience that they already own anything. So they're just getting the $18 Beyonder. So that's the, that's like the, the problem with reprints. It's who is going to be spending the most money here because the hardcore fans already have everything. Okay, so they're boosting the backer numbers and, you know, putting some money for this expansion. Um, and hopefully we'll see in the comments are also helping like the newcomers if they have any questions. But we see we have people that have the base game and just want the new expansions. So finally, there's a place for them to get it. And this is, you know, you know, I expect this one to go up because a lot of people will really want to dive into uh, the game. And here we have the, you know, the sort of all in. You see, there's, I think there's a bit of confusion between these two. Okay, what's the difference? You get all expansions and here you get all gameplay content so i think it's just a play mat if i'm not mistaken that's what i can sort of tell um so it's basically people deciding if they want the play mat or not interesting um curious what will happen by the end of this campaign i i i, I want to think that this tier won't stay the highest for the entire time you can see the super fans jumped on day one i think the other ones should eventually grow once more and more people get intrigued by this campaign uh let's look at the comment section real quick because i've got a few minutes left so yeah, as you can see people other than level 99 are answering each other they're uh, they're helping you see you see this is the strength of having a strong community they're sort of answering each other's questions and, and helping because they're they're invested in getting more people into this game. They want this to be a, suc a success. They want a bigger player base so they can play with. So, yeah, and you see there's some confusion for the tiers, which is funny because they also mentioned uh, uh, this is confusing. Um, but I think I think it should work. And look, they funded within the first day uh within the first few hours uh and this should be a very successful campaign all right so that's all for today and uh thank you brad uh for uh being an awesome uh, uh person to work with and yeah let's hope we can do more of these soon and you know share like subscribe all that stuff if you want to see more of this type of content bye bye